Well, the race for governor is on. Democrats have their candidate, but most Republicans have not made up their minds among the many choices. There's that big takeaway from a new ABC 27 Hill Emerson College poll ahead of the May primary, which is just 47 days away. Dennis Owens is here now with that story. Dennis. Well, ladies, if the primary were held today, and of course it is not, somebody named undecided would be the GOP nominee by a landslide. Josh Shapiro is the only Democrat in the race. No polling necessary there. But it's a crowded field on the right, and the poll is showing some fascinating numbers. Senator Doug Mastriano is ignoring mainstream media and skipping most forums, but Republican voters have certainly found the Trump-loving candidate. Mastriano leads the nine-person field in a new Emerson College poll of likely GOP voters with just over 16 percent, followed by Lou Barletta, Bill McSwain, and Dave White. But the runaway winner in this poll less than two months before the primary is undecided. And nearly 49 percent tells me that the voters haven't really tuned into the race or if they've tuned in, they really haven't been attracted by any of the candidates. Spencer Kimball is the polling director at Emerson. He calls the race wide open. Everybody's got a shot. Certainly, if you're at two, three, five percent, you could say, well, we still have a shot at this race if we can get out there and tell voters why they should vote for us considering half of them are undecided. A big surprise, though, in this poll, Jake Corman, Senate president pro tem and longtime PA politician, got just 2.3 percent. He should have strong name recognition and that if he was going to capture the imagination of the electorate, he probably would have done so by now. And our poll is a bit higher. Former Trump advisor Kellyanne Conway is now polling for and advising the Corman campaign. She concedes her guy is trailing, but says the undecideds give her hope. So does Donald Trump. She's trying to convince the former president to endorse Corman and shared photos of the two playing golf. That could make a difference. The poll shows 61 percent of likely voters say a Trump endorsement would matter. Will he well, get that endorsement? President, that's up to President Trump. You know, President Trump loves the element of surprise. And there's no one who's mastered it quite like him. And President Trump also knows that his endorsement is a valuable piece of political currency, the most valuable. There are nine horses on the track, nearly all of them still in the race. And the stretch run is here. There's going to be forums and debates and advertising that's going to try to impact people's opinions. And that should move those numbers. Now, coming up at six, we pulled the U.S. Senate race, Democrats and Republicans. Very interesting results there as well. We'll break them down for you in one hour. But the full poll results, including issues like recreational marijuana and fracking, are on our website right now. Check it out at abc27.com. Alicia? Definitely worth checking out. Dennis, thank you.